All right, Scorpio, do you know what it is today? It is 11-11, so the portal is opening, and I really want to really draw the messages for all the signs really, really quickly. I might not process all the videos on the 11-11, but they have been recorded. So, Lenormand, I'm only uh, reading upright, so I try to do the reverse, and like for those of you smart, smarty pants, hey, can I read Lenormand reversed? Yes, I can. I just need to be better at it, and until I am great, I'm not going to do it. So, we're going to do the entire full blast, Grand Tableau. Guys, this reading is going to be very, very expensive. <laughs> And for now, it is something that you can request when you're ordering anything from my website. So, Scorpio, November and December of 2020. Guys, by the way, um, check out my community page. I have also released a newsletter about the full moon tonight and the full moon in Taurus, which is exactly the opposite from your sign, which is going to be really important to set you straight on the path to abundance. If you don't need it, well, then that's okay. Uh, we, can, we can deal with that too. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And so this is going to be kind of like short and dirty, where I really want to tell you what are the loose ends, what you need to wrap up, and so on and so forth. I also, during this few days of this huge transition that we have, and this new start, will almost like start to finalize, well, maybe I shouldn't say finalize, start to edit, rather to say my annuals. So guys, order it. It still have the price, and the links are down in the description. So take it while it is super super affordable so let's start see how much things you can say while you're laying down these things and I'm not editing this because otherwise I would never catch up with everything so it is all done this way look at that there's some there is some kind of like partnership Scorpio here happening or finishing there is like a third party over here that really wants to kind of like snip at you there is like somebody who is expecting loyalty I don't know maybe it could be a person you have a child with there is like some issue here that I don't know why the coffin is here we're going to see something needs to be AG dead or needs to transition to something else if you're hearing that weird sound in the background, that would be Tiger munching his bone. And also, guys, another thing really happened, you know. Uh, I knew this is going to be a special day when I woke up, and I'm going to try to find my phone to show you what I woke up to. So, you know, if you'll be able to see this. Yes, it is now. It is November 11th, it is snow. And of course, this is where I dropped a glove, and that's my dogo is enjoying the snow. So, okay, give me a second to get a ruler and to really think through the emotions that I see over here for you guys. So, I already noticed this pattern, and this is going to be very significant, guys. It almost it is some kind of transition because the cross is in the house of the snake and this is clearly connecting the book which is in the house of a coffin right like the ladies so if you're a lady there are like some kind of like secrets that they cannot be secrets I, I guess <laughs> weirdly enough for a Scorpio it sounds to me that you are guys demanding some sort of transparency demanding um, some issues to be resolved you might be also dealing with some kind of um, formalities let's say maybe there are like some legal issues that you're dealing with there is like a communication that you're cutting with someone over here I feel um, maybe it's a co-worker 
maybe it is somebody who has been, let's say, in your orbit, but you didn't necessarily kind of let go all the way. Look at this. It's somebody from the past. Mercury retrogrades until the 20th over here. Around March and February, you guys are going to have an amazing Valentine Day. I feel it might be even a proposal of some kind of sort. So it is time to start something new. You might even meet somebody like really literally at the steps of your home. It might be a mailman, milkman, somebody kind of like just dropping because their tire kind of like got flat or they had a car in their ditch. That could be the one. It is a relationship that you have which is going to have this huge electricity, right? You have the whip in the house of the men. I mean, either of them can be you because this is a general reading and as I said, it's a short and sweet. I really want to capture um, all, that, all I'm getting here from, from the portal of Mercury. And Mercury is basically God of communication. So it is really, really important. And know, guys, if you're planning some kind of trip, as, as early as next month um, that trip sort of like is going to be revealing to some extent because ship is in its native basically house in the house of the ship and it's really talking about um, transition it could be like simply that you kind of because rider is in the same category, it could be even two trips, it could be one small and one large, right? So ship to me can also um, talk about traveling overseas, where the rider to me can really talk about more like a journey, right? Both of them have extremely positive energy, and we are really talking about, you know, adventure. I also think for some of you, this could indicate kind of like a long-term romance, right? Because it could have been somebody, you know, that has to be left behind, but also it could be at the same time that somebody who you have left behind coming over and resurfacing, and hence you need to deal with this, and it looks like there's going to be cutting off of some kind of like process over here, guys. It's actually very interesting that they see this. Now, the sun is in a house of the letter, and then that card is right next to us, and the letter is being cut off. So that's communication. Somebody is going to feel really bad, not you. Somebody you need to do something is going to really take this badly. They are going to tell you, I have been loyal to you. I have traveled to see you. Um, you know, I love your children, or... You know, I wanted to have children with you. Um, I wanted to build life with you. There are lots of things that will be happening, right? Um, you, you looks like have been intimate with this person, and this is kind of like making it very complicated. There is like somebody else here, and I do not understand why there is like nothing in between the two of them. That means that something didn't evolve yet. Because in the same configuration, this is the house of the gentleman, this is the house of the lady. So we have the whip and the moon. And so somebody who is a guy, or you maybe identify yourself more with this energy, it's going to feel like kind of like the sexual magic or the huge, huge attraction. And of course, you guys are always jumping in with, with that attraction. And that attraction doesn't have to be um, traditional or conventional you find uh, somebody's crooked nose extremely attractive to you you kind of like focus on one element and one element only and it is like so important for you to go forward some of you as I said could find that new interest somebody arriving right to your doorstep but for some of you it could really talk about a job or even move I know guys if you're looking for a new job because the store can actually talk about that as well it kind of has a range of things it's change it's moving and it's flexibility improvement it can also talk of course talk about pregnancy um, 
uh, transformation which really appeals to your sign as well so I'm just trying to see where do we go again the stork goes with the snake I am wondering if you guys are having shared custody if one of the parents are going to say they're moving and that's going to start creating problems of some kind of like sorts it's interesting that stork, stork is right next to the house so that generally talks about either that you'll be renovating a home I guess it goes without saying uh, November, December, Christmas is coming up now we are basically a pay, uh, pay respect our veterans and after that Christmas is going on or this also could mean that you're really paying attention to your health but this can also mean health of who you are, health of your business, health of your job, health of um, things that surround you. You are really fully encompassing that energy. Now, this gets really interesting because you see the tree is in the house of the cross. This is kind of like very karmic. What is really needed next year obviously is going to be year of health. You're going to pull yourself together. It's going to be year of big hopes, right? But it's also going to uh, be very interesting because if I really continue with this, the tree, this is in the house. This is in the house of the tree, the heart. So I guess if you haven't had so far, it's going to be a very healthy relationship. As I said, it's going to be somewhere January, February. But at the same time, when you're going to feel really good about that, puff you're hitting the mountain and the mountain on top of it is in the house of the clouds so it's something ambiguous something is like you're walking through the freaking fog and you're trying to make sense and there's something karmic that you need to resolve and you will be challenged on so many levels you'll be challenged financially uh, you'll be challenged with communication look at the secrets over here there are some kind of secrets that that need to resurface remember the book I said it's basically uh, referring right back to this house as well so um, this is also very interesting because the cross is in the house of the snake and the snake is in the house of the skies so it almost looks to me that you are currently dealing with either people popping up from the past or you really need to deal with some kind of past issues and it's going to be extremely important to clear this look at this you have the coffin you have the sky how much more of a message do you need mice something has been and the snake eats mice so maybe kind of like these two almost like nullify each other but this is not to say that kind of like you're still feeling some kind of like influence of some kind of like sword it's overall very good it almost looks like that maybe your partner has a slight upper hand um, you might be dealing with a partner even though if you didn't meet somebody it's going to happen very very soon um, I would say you are entering new year with meeting someone or redefining your relationship with someone this is how strong this is but this also could mean that you're either getting engaged for some of you it's moving forward or there's like this new level of commitment but you also have the mountain and this is like ouch mountain means it's almost like mercury retrograde you know crap happens you're dealing with a whole bunch of like stuff kind of like flying your way you kind of like really need to get yourself out of it you will you will and you will kind of like marry uh, you know your job with your love it almost looks like everything is going to fall in place down the road um, however it's going to be on period over there which I would say the beginning of the next year where you're going to be tested you're going to be given so much that basically karma is saying well you know you better show me that you're deserving it okay 
So that's it, Scorpio. As I said, it's going to be short and sweet. I have to go with 11 other signs. Um, please order uh, annual taroscopes because I think they're going to be really good. These messages that I've got were really amazing. So Scorpio, all the best. I wish you happy birthday. Until the next time, you know that I love you.